Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial of our MUN command session app. To start off, we're going to set up a new committee and we're going to do so using one of our committee templates. Let's go with the security council. We're also going to add the EU as a custom member. Oops, there we go. And we're going to make them an observer country. Start session. Now, if you want to use your committee later, you might also want to export your committee using the slide-in menu on the left and save that somewhere on your computer. Now, as with any conference, we're going to start with a roll call and set everybody present. We're going to also set an agenda. Let's go with tutorial. Here we go. Now, we're here in the general speaker system. We can add to that as many countries as we want to. Now, with any timer here in MUN command, you can hit play and pause. You can reset the timer and you can modify the timer or configure whatever you're doing at the moment. So here we can change the speaking time to 90 seconds. And in the general speaker list, we can obviously also yield to other delegates. Here we yield to the EU. Now, one other feature we have is that you can record motions with the session app. You can add a motion here, let's say test motion, give it a duration of five minutes and individual speaking time of 12 seconds. Now that's gonna show up here at the most disruptive motion. To that, we can also add an unmoderated caucus of six minutes, which is more disruptive than the moderated caucus, which is well, why it will be shown first up here. Now this is gonna fail, but the moderated caucus will pass and will take us automatically to the moderated caucus tab right here. Again, you have the same controls as in the GSL, but here you can also set up your caucus manually or configure any of the details if you wish to do so. You can also extend the time of your caucus if that is necessary. So another tab we have obviously is the unmoderated caucus. I suppose that is quite self-explanatory. The same goes for the single speaker, which just gives you a little bit more flexibility in managing your debates. Now we had a really successful conference. So next up is going to be our voting procedure. For this, we're going to choose a substantive vote where observers will not be allowed to vote. And we're going to have a required majority of the uh, Security Council 9 since we started it with the Security Council. Let's click Submit. And here we are in our uh, substantive vote. We have the first round, the second round of voting, and then the speeches in the end. We can always change our configuration up here or reset the vote if we need to do so. So let's start voting. People can vote in favor, in favor with rights. They can also vote against or against with rights. Uh, they can abstain from voting. And they can also pass. Passing, obviously, as you know, takes people to the second round of voting. Um, so let's click through those real quick. Now we finished round one and we're going to continue into round two of voting. Here we still have Indonesia and Germany left. Both of them are going to vote in favor and the resolution passes. Very successful vote. We still have a couple of rights speeches remaining though due to people voting with right so we're gonna have all the speakers going through here now and the conference is over and we had a lot of fun of course this is only the first step for us towards developing our conference app where you will be able to chat with delegates where you will be able to manage your documents your conference and so much more for that be sure to follow us on social media and on our website with that enjoy your session